be making bases. What's good YouTube, Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, like and comment on the video and please subscribe to my channel, hit those bell notifications so you know when we're gonna post. Today's video, I wanna talk about how to master your beats if you're a beginner, okay, in Logic Pro 10, all right? Now I have a beat that we uh, mixed in the last video. I want to just kind of talk about some things to before we get into the actual mastering um, of the beat. Okay, now what is mastering? Basically, in my layman's terms uh, definition, it's basically making the the beat or whatever track you're using sound radio friendly, um, industry standard. So basically, what it's going to mean is it's going to be on the same loudness of all of the tracks that you would hear on the radio or hear on TV and different things of that nature. And um, it will sound as clean and as crisp and as full as those tracks are. So what can we do to master our tracks if you're a beginner, right? Now, the first thing I wanna show here is on this scenario out, as you see, I turned it down about halfway, about negative 4.6. And what that does is gives it some headroom I'll just kind of play the beat like kind of like on a hook part and you kind of just see what I'm talking about here. Let me just turn it up a little bit. So as you can see, it's not really like clipping too much and that's because we turn this down. Now what we're going to do to like raise the volume and make it, you know, master is First of all, we want to bounce down the track as a wave file. So how we do it in Logic, we're just going to push down Command and B, and it's going to pull up this option right here. Whenever I do this, what I do is I make sure the file, the file format is wave, the resolution is 24-bit, and the sample rate, I go ahead and bump that up to 48,000, okay? I went, go ahead and leave the file type as interleaved and dithering as none. Normalize, I leave that off. And then I just go ahead and bounce that down to my desktop. Okay, so I'll make sure I go over here to my desktop and I'll just say like no cap or the beat name and then like rough, just so I know that um, this is the rough version or the un unmastered version. So what I'll do is I'll bounce it down. And then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna create a brand new um, session in Logic Pro 10. All right, so that's what we're going to do now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Matter of fact, we're gonna just going to open up like this and we'll just say new. Um, don't close, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to pull it like this. So you just go ahead and put out an audio track here. And then once you have that going, you can come over here to this area right here. And this is going to allow you to find that track. So you just go to all files, desktop, and then you can go over here and look for the track here. So we call this no cap and rough wave. So I'm just going to drag that bad boy in like this. We can change the project and import the tempo. Click off of that. Okay. So now, as you can see, we have the track in here. Now, if, I want you to pay attention to the stereo out. Let's just play this track like right here during the hook. So let's check that out. Let's look at the actual track. And as you can see, it's not clipping too bad. The plugin that I will put on here, which is a stock plugin, just to help with mastering, is going to be called Adaptive Limiter, okay? Adaptive limiter. So you just go over here under dynamics, go to adaptive limiter and push stereo. And you want to put this on the stereo out. And what I would recommend doing is just going ahead and taking this uh, ceiling and just go down the negative uh, 0 0.1 dB, put true peak detection on, and just go ahead and play it from there. And that's a simple thing you can do. Now, also what you could do here is push the gain up just a little bit. So um, you don't want it to sound distorted or whatever. I would really, really recommend putting it at like maybe 2 dB. To start off there, it's a pretty safe place to put it and it's gonna boost the level of the uh, overall track up some. So check that out now. And you can actually go ahead and 
push it up even more until it, you know, right before it starts distorting. Let's see. And what that did is basically it kept the track from peaking, but also raised the level or overall volume of the track up to where, it, you know, it's going to sound industry standard. Now, what you can do if you want is go ahead and drag another track that's already mastered into the session. I'm not going to do that for copyright reasons, but if you want to like A, B it. You can go ahead and drag it in and just like mute this track, listen to that one, and then mute the other one and listen and to see where the volume level is. But overall, you just want to make sure it's not clipping and make sure it's not sounding distorted and everything like that. This is, of course, if you're just going to be putting this track out like on streaming services and different things like that, or just sending it out for artists to listen to, etc. Um, if you have any questions about this, leave it in the comment section. I do appreciate y'all watching and make sure again that you subscribe to my channel. We're trying to go and take this, this uh, channel to the next level. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.